Man, you know who one of the greatest actor rappers of all time, though? Don't, don't let the kids, because I'm a, I'm, I really studied this. Big man, homie, who, who, homie. this man sitting right at the end of the table, oh, man. man. He played the mother. Oh, he played the mother. Shit out there, I'll tell y'all niggas about this nigga right hey, here. Hey, no, man. homie, what are you talking about, my nigga? That, <laughs> that shit that was, was the so shit right cold. there. That shit was epic, right Come there. Come on, niggas. <laughs> Come on, niggas. You yeah, need man. some help, homie? We're going to go over here and get a little more. I don't give a who out there, goddamn? Hey, play you the damn niggas. And I didn't know H. Mm -hmm. No, you I did that, my nigga. No, like no. After seeing that movie, I said, man, this nigga's probably the most gang banging this nigga in the world. Nah, bro. homie. I'm listen, listen, homie. I went listen in the hood, bro. Listen, it's a school in, in our hood, right in the middle, on Skyline and 61st Street. When we was young, it was a creative and performing arts school. Nanda Lewis went there. Nick Cannon went. A lot, 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 lot of actors and entertainers went to this school, homie. Um. We studied, homie, how to do, you know, it was in the hood, so you wanted to go to the school because all little bras was running around in leotards and shit. It was like fame. Mm -hmm. But for the street niggas, we would just take, as our elective would just be, you know, drama, acting or something, mm -hmm. you know, go make little skits in class and shit. Mm -hmm. but, so I learned shit and I know shit. The, the homie got it off. You feel me? The homie did that. I thought you was going to say like a, like a, Cause you know Pac could act, homie. I mean, oh, we no, know Pac. Pac we know he could act, but I'm yeah. saying, I'm saying from a nigga that no, not just because he said it and he went to school. You know, he did his thing. He was believable, homie. Real believable. No, Pac mm -hmm. actually was a good actor. He was a really good Definitely. actor. You know, um, mm -hmm. which is why he was such a good hip hop artist. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? He was able to get that shit off. You Straight know what I mean? Straight up. You know that motherfucker thought he, you know, he's meant business when he said what he said. Um, mm -hmm. The reason I say that, man, is because you got some rappers who aren't good actors. No, not at all. You know what I'm saying? Eight, eight pulled that shit off, dog. He did that. And I think Eight, by me knowing him a little bit now, I know why. Is I used to always wonder why he didn't do more movies. That motherfucker probably turned down more shit. Mm -hmm. Just from where he was at, you know, he, that's what this rap shit mean to him. He's like, ain't nobody going to try to make me no, no comedian, you know, no, 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 uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> no cartoon character. Mm -hmm. He wasn't having it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he pretty much probably sacrificed his um. Come on, niggas. His film here, dog. <laughs> just not wanting to do certain shit, you know. Yeah, yeah and, man, and I didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to do a lot of funny it. shit. I didn't want to do a lot of niggas was hitting me about funny shit and scripts yeah, about nah. comedy shit, and I was like, Nah, man, I'm cool. So that's what really did it for me. Hey, check it out. Hey, tell me this right here about minutes, right? Remember when you hit the nigga at the end at the shop, right? Mm-hmm. Did y'all make it a point to make sure that y'all bust it 10 times? Because that you, you shot him 10 times. Oh, yeah. Because uh, it was a Desert Eagle, and the Desert Eagle held 10 bullets. Yeah, it held. It held I, um, I said, ooh, they had him. When they gave me the, the uh, when they gave it to me, uh, like, uh, when they gave me the gun earlier that day, mm -hmm. you know, before we was getting ready to shoot the scene, mm -hmm. I was like, what the f*** is this? Because they had just came out with Desert, Desert Eagles. Eagles. And I said, what the f*** is this? He said, <laughs> and so the gun dude was like, oh, yeah, I just got that. He was like, it's a Desert Eagle 357. <laughs> and I said, where the f*** y'all get this shit from? Mm -hmm. So I was just with it all day so they didn't really tell me uh how many times to shoot the nigga uh a lot of my shit was ad-libbed um i guess because you know uh having the true uh affiliation with the neighborhood and gang banging and all that so they didn't know so it was basically on instinct or whatever i felt right. so when the nigga got out the car and I shot him twice, bop, bop, and he fell, I was just like, man, this nigga still moving around and shit, nigga in the neighborhood. If ain't nobody, we just gonna, I'm just gonna keep shooting the nigga until it's over with. So I just kept dumping, bing, 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 bing. The bing, bing. of that movie, that just added on to that because I knew, like, ooh, I was dying to get one of them at the time. Oh, and nigga, as soon as I left that motherfucker, the next, the next mother week, nigga, I was nigga had one of them mother. I had huh? to. It was fourteen hundred. It was about yeah, yeah, I'm a fourteen fifteen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that eagle. That motherfucker was beautiful too. It was that motherfucker big as a mother, big ass barrel on the end. It just sounded like pure metal when you cocked it. Clean, <laughs> clean. <laughs> <laughs> No.
toes will grow like Pinocchio. We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Extra chronic players, this is not your average show.